Hi guys, Later here, and today I'm here with another update video about the Fantasy Star Online PSOBB emulated client. If you haven't seen the other videos in this series, there'll be a link in the description to them, and I recommend watching from the beginning. The first video is kind of boring, but it gives you a cool overview of where the project started and where it goes, and it's just kind of exciting to watch, so I recommend you check it out. Now, today, We've got something a little more technical than what's in the usual videos, and I'm going to be showing you a prototype for loading maps. Uh, and I have to thank Soli, Jake, Wilhoof, and several other people over the years in the PSO community who have worked on these formats, and I figured them out because I can't do that. So I'm thankful for that, and a lot of credit is due to a lot of the previous people. PSO community, so I want you guys to know that before we get into this. So, what we have here is Forest 1, and it looks pretty empty as you can see, there's nothing here. Now, what I'm about to show you is a work in progress, this prototype. Uh, a lot of, the, um, probably none of the code that's powering this prototype will make it in, but to like the client, but I just want to show you guys because it'd be pretty cool. So before I run out of time, this video ends up 10 minutes. Let's just go ahead and run this. And what it's just done is it's loaded data from the map files from Fantasy Star Online, and we've got all these cubes here. But these cubes actually mean something. If we click on this one, it's a teleporter. This one's like a spawn point, but you can you can actually see this over here or up here. This one's a box, so yeah, they've got all all the objects are here. This one's the message pod, the Rico like the story stuff. Here's an energy barrier, like the laser gate, I guess you could call it. And here's a forest door. Probably some boxes. Yeah, these are some boxes. What are these boxes? Yep, we got three boxes over here. What about here? Door? Yep, door. What's this? Event collision. I'm not sure what that is. Probably fires off some event, maybe like creature spawning or something. I don't know, I haven't looked at it. Some more boxes and stuff. You, you get the idea, so. Maps can be loaded in dynamic. This is dynamic, so if I end this, it's gone. Uh, this means that we can handle variations and stuff. So when you load into the game, you know, we'll, it loads all the variations and stuff. So we can do that now, kind of. And then when you actually go down to Forest, which we can't do just yet, but whoa, that's going to be a fun video. Look forward to that soon, because that will be a video. But as for now, that's pretty much all. We can understand kind of the map formats and dynamically load in the contents of a level, which means soon, very soon, we're going to be going down to forest. It is a reality now. It's not just some far-fetched idea. We are going to go to Ragel. So thanks for watching, guys. I recommend you check out the playlist if you haven't. Like, comment, and subscribe or something like that. I only say that because it generates, it's an engagement metric for YouTube, and it'll recommend other people who like PSO, this video, it's crap, and they'll see it. Um, I don't make any money from any of this, but anyway, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I cannot wait to get to Forest, because there's going to be a lot of cool stuff we can do down there, but this is where we are right now, with uh, this particular part of it, so... Thanks for watching, guys. Again, I'll try to have another video out as soon as possible, but it might take a day or two before we can get down here. See you guys in the next video.